Hello everyone, I'm Augusta Myers. Welcome to One Albuquerque Media and this week's City News Brief. Last week, the city broke ground on the renovation of Loma Linda Community Center in Southeast Albuquerque. The improvements reflect the center's unique identity as a home away from home for children, especially those with special needs. Loma Linda is home to the city's therapeutic recreation program, which serves kids and adults with and without disabilities. Some of the new amenities installed as a result of this $9 million project include a new gym, as well as a larger garden and play area. Last year, the city of Albuquerque launched its Balanced Resource Acquisition and Information Network, known as BRAIN, providing real-time information on utility use across facilities to help address any issues to save electricity, natural gas, and water. Since it's been in place, Brain has helped the city save $355,000 in its first year of operation. That figure is expected to rise as the Energy and Sustainability Management Team find more projects to invest in. Despite recent changes, including short staffing and service reductions, ABQ Ride is on track to reach pre-pandemic ridership numbers this fiscal year. In fact, the ART bus system has seen significantly more riders than the former Rapid Ride service it replaced. For the first quarter of FY24, ABQ Ride served over 1.7 million riders, a 66% increase compared to the first quarter of fiscal year 2020. The Albuquerque Business First awarded the New Mexico Minority Business Development Agency Business Center a Diverse Business Leader Award for Outstanding Diversity in an Organization. The awards recognize commitment to the advancement of diversity in the workplace. Since opening in 2020, the New Mexico MBDA has served some 300 minority businesses with services such as client bid sourcing, certifications, registrations, capital lending access, strategic planning, and more. And this quick note on a couple of City of Albuquerque retirements. Associate Chief Administrative Officer Bob White will retire at the end of this month after more than 40 years in public service. White at one time had been the city attorney as well as an Albuquerque city councilor from 1979 to 1983. And Carol Pierce, the city's director of health, housing and homelessness, is retiring at the end of the year. Pierce served as the Director of Family and Community Services since 2018 and is the first director of the newly created HHH department. And that wraps up this week's edition. We hope you join us again next week for the latest city news right here on One Albuquerque Media. I'm Augusta Myers. Thanks for joining me.